We are rolling. Alrighty. How is it going, everybody? I wanted to, now hopefully, um, not be very long. But um, for those that are new, thanks for watching and um, and tuning in and subscribing. Um, I know it might be kind of dark because it's kind of late. Um, it is kind of late, but you know I'm do all of course do the routine stuff. Subscribe if you like the content, like the channel. Um, definitely hit the bell. That way it should let you know when I'm posting the video. Write some comments and all that. So, with that being said, I just want to be really, really short. Um, I call it the in the box versus uh, hardware war, because you got you got a lot of people that feel they can do everything perfectly fine in the box, meaning they can do all the recording. They can do all the mixing, everything, just using the DAW, the software, plugins and virtual instruments and just an interface, maybe some headphones. And, and I don't know why people out there that are telling people that that's, you can't do it that way. When in actuality, you absolutely can do it that way. And in a lot of cases, if you're good at it, it works. There is a program called Reason, designed is specifically designed to be in the box. Um, now, the only time I'm starting to see people that are wrestling with in the box doing everything in the box, recording, mixing, and everything else, are people that are used to doing it out of the box and they started that way what I mean is they started on the console they started with outboard gear they started with tape machines these are the main people that are having a hard time with in the box stuff but my take on it is this where do you decide to use an actual compressor or some gear or whatever or you decide to use a plug-in of the same type of gear. Except you're just going to use the software, plug-in software of that piece of gear. And then that don't have to be these pieces of gear. It could be any compressor, reverb, EQ, whatever. And this is all choice. Nothing more, nothing less. It's like with this Allen & Heath mixing console this board is just a choice to use there's no law that says you have to use an Allen and Heath console just like there's no law that says you have to use an SSL console or a Neve or an API or Audience or Helios or just the MCI the list just goes on and on and on there's everything that you see, and this why this is this is why in the recording business it's not a ubiquitous thing of using the exact same gear that everybody uses. Now there are always choices of gear that people prefer. That's the only difference, you know. So the war between in the box and out of out of the box is really just really it's silly. Because in the end, what all that really matters is the end result of what your master bus sounds like coming through your speakers, and if your speakers are accurate, and if you get great accuracy in your mixing and in this master, the people are not listening to your song to gauge your song based on the gear. They're listening to your music or any music by any artist gauged on how good the song is and the artist. Period. No one listens to music wondering if the person used an API console with Newman U87 mics. No one thinks like that. Not even people in the business that have been doing this for years are doing that. Oh man, I, can you hear the way that 
Can you hear the way them drums are on channel 7 with that 1176 inserted on? No one does that. Not even pro mixing and recording engineers do that. They don't. Now, certain pieces of gear may have a more recognizable sound than other pieces of gear. But in the end, majority of the time, most people can't even hear what type of gear is used in a mix of a song. They can't. No one, no one can do that. You can't tell with microphones, with preamps, uh, whatever the case. You, all you can tell is something's been professionally recorded. Was it recorded well? Mixed well? Mastered? Is the artist good? How good is the song? Do you even like the song? Even if you... Because you have an artist that can be a great artist but singing over a crappy song. Or you can have a, a, some great music and have a crappy singer. Or you can have a combination of some great musicians playing with crappy musicians. Or the, the, it, it's the, such a, an endless combination of factors in the whole thing. So, to wrap up my video, I just want to say that it really... Whether you choose to be hybrid choose to be completely in the box or you want to be mostly out of the box is nothing but preference and choice and whether you want to use a ton of plugins or if you want to use real outboard gear is preference more than anything else so um, I, I you know I and I've had a little bit of bias towards real gear because in some instances Real gear, in some instances, can sound better. It's just fact. In other instances, real gear don't sound any better. And that's a fact. Um, so, and in a lot of cases, whether you have a console or not, that's another controversial video statement. So... Everything that you see, this is why it's so many recording studios are completely different. I have not seen not one recording studio that looks identical to another. Not even in professional recording studios. Not even the shape of their of the building of their recording studios, their live room, their control room, the gear they're using. No one is using the exact same pieces of gear verbatim in every aspect. No one is. And then you're going to go, and the last thing you're going to hear, if you do a lot of studio tours or, or just listen to a lot of, every studio and studio engineer has their favorite compressor, their favorite microphones, their favorite studio monitors, their you know, they, everyone has likes of gear and, and everything else. Just like there are a lot of recording or mixing engineers or whatever the case that love to use the plugins to do, you know, whatever. And they're gonna, you're gonna see that. You're gonna see other mixing engineers said, "No, I got to do it on the console, with outboard gear, real outboard gear." That's far perfectly fine too, because when we're listening to all this music on the radio or streaming services or whatever, the internet, no one can listen to the music and tell what studio it was done at, whether it was done in a commercial building or. The only way you can really tell music is if it's recorded well or if it's not. If the artist is any good or they're not. The song's any good or they're not. That's the only thing that we can tell. Oh, I don't like that song. Or, man, that song is slamming. No one ever listens to a song and say, oh, that was done at Sunset Sound on an API console using 1176s with the uh, you know Yamaha SP890 reverb. No one does that. They just don't. Not even pros. So that's going to do it for this video. Um, just remember, in the box or out of box, it's, it's just choices. I choose to use this gear or I chose to use that gear. Um, I choose to be, you know, use Pro Tools. I choose to use Logic Pro. Or I choose to use Kickwalk or Studio One. It's all choice. So that doesn't make that's why it doesn't make seem that doesn't make it that one is better than the other. Yet there are people out there that are trying to make pieces of gear or software against each other to say one is better than the other. 
you know, and that's yeah. so that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching, y'all have a great one.